Chichester Palant Gallery are currently shining a light on female artists. A special exhibition gives visitors an insight into the representations of women created by women from the gallery's extensive collection. A lot of our work in our collection, you know, it's such a high percentage which is male artists and we're lucky enough to um, be working with art collectors who are very interested in our collection and they work very closely with us in the curatorial department to really find those gaps in our collection and just contemporary, well women artists in general, as I mentioned in minority, but also now working out how we then can change that for the future and looking forward. So collections of contemporary female artists are really something that we are focusing on at the moment and how we can not only grow our collection in that direction, but also how we can celebrate them and show the works. There's so many wonderful works and as you are looking at them and researching them, you notice more and more that's coming through. But I think in this display, hopefully the works will speak for themselves um, in the context that they're displayed here. In the 19th and early 20th century, artists such as Suzanne Valadon began to focus on the female body as the primary subject for women's experience. Valadon worked as a circus performer and a life model for artists such as Renoir. She became particularly interested in depicting female nudes. She always illustrates women getting in and out of the bath or walking and it's really how the body naturally moves. She was not posed, she um, never posed her models really um, and they're always in movement in awkward positions. Denora Mendelssohn also took a different approach to painting women. She was the stepdaughter of David Bomberg and married the artist Leslie Marr. So she was surrounded by male artists. It's understood there's little known about her artwork, really. But through correspondence that's there with her stepfather and her husband, we really get an idea that she was the body for a lot of their studies or um, a lot of their um, artworks. And the work that you and I were talking about is um, understood to be a self-portrait, but she entitles it Muse. So she's looking down at herself, it's a self-portrait, she's re-examining herself, um, but from her own perspective, and she's the artist, but she's still cleverly that play with uh, how women are really understood as Muse, whilst you've got the active male artist with quite passive female model. At a time where art was rather viewed through a male gaze, works like those displayed here were sometimes criticised as unfeminine. The male gaze was um, actually a term that was coined by um, Laura Mulvey. She was looking at film theory, actually, and looking at how women actresses are portrayed within film. And she, she just discussed how women were always going to be seen by this gaze, which was predominantly male gaze because of how they were filmed, um, certain lighting and makeup, even down to the storyline. And when you look at that as a starting point, as this male gaze, that you're always going to see the female as from a male perspective, the artists in this display, especially with Susan, artists like Susan Valadon, they just claim back the female nude. They take back representation of it. They, they're women, they're looking at their own bodies, they're looking at other women's bodies, they're looking at the way they move naturally, they're not posing in these predominantly male fashion where they are laying down or posed in certain ways that just kind of really focuses on this idealisation and classical female beauty. And I mean exhibitions like this is really great to get the attention and bring a lot of these names to the foreground and celebrate their work. But it's also about integrating the artworks into other displays around the gallery as well. So not just focusing on you should come and see these works because they're great works by women artists, but it's they should be around the gallery, they should be in other exhibitions, they should be integrated. Um, and this is really just a, a first step to show some of the great works that we have in our collection. Women's Artists' The Female Gaze is for free and it's still on until the 15th of October. Nicole Ries, that's TV.